What up guys, Nate from Turn. I'm excited to be out in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, today, we're at Grow Science. Grow Science is going to be an exclusive partner that we're working with for all of our live resin and manufacturing for Turn when we launch here in Arizona. Today, we have Matt. Matt is the founder of Grow Science, and he's gonna give us a walkthrough of the facility of why they produce some of the best products in the market in Arizona. Super glad you guys are here. So you're in our second facility. So we founded our company in 2017, came to market in 2018. And we had a 20,000 square foot building about 20 minutes from here. 2021, we started to build out this uh, 80,000 square foot, kind wow. of my dream grow. Uh, one of the things we really wanted to get into was working with other brands. Obviously one of the biggest brands in California being turned. Thank you. You know, it was like the perfect synergy. So you're standing in what we call phase one of our cultivation, 80,000 square feet. Phase one is eight flowering rooms, 91 lights in each, and our veg that puts uh, plants into the entire grow. Cool. So we should start into, uh, let's start in our bedroom just so you can see how everything perfect. starts. Awesome. Check out a couple of flower rooms, check out our BHO lab and uh, bullshit about where we've been. Cool, and a quick thing too, cool thing about working with Grow Sciences, it's fully vertical, right? So everything that we're gonna be looking at today from the plant is exactly what's going into our live resin products. So we'll be able to show you guys exactly how the process happens from each step of the way to make sure it's the best product going in our product. All right. So Matt, tell me a little bit about what's yeah. in this room. So this is our bedroom. Uh, it's one of, there's only two rooms in the whole building that are LED. I've got one LED flowering room that we kind of use for research and development just to learn okay. the technology. And then we've got um, the bars from uh, Lux. Cool. And in our bedroom, it's the only double decker in the whole grow. And you basically have some of our backup moms over here. And then these row here, are some genetics we're testing out. And then as we move down, you basically just see everything get into a different stage, right? Wow. Combinating into a few weeks down the road where they're going to be ready to flip, which you see in row five over yeah. there. This one right here, we can go into one uh, week nine, day 61. So cool. we've got about nine to 12 days left on this room. We're going to take everything 70, sometimes even 75 days. Wow. Why is that important? Yeah. Because everybody, especially people who talk about live resin, 52 days, 56 days, and you get that super bright yellow color, but you don't get the depth of the cultivar, okay. right? We take ours 70 days, 75 days sometimes, and we still get that color. We're gonna get into this in the lab why that is, but it's the, the super deep freeze process by which we do, the nature of meticulous harvest in which we do. We're all connoisseurs here, and we take this shit really seriously. And one of the good parts about owning this company and the fact that we didn't sell and, and I can make all the decisions is, this is not run as the most profitable mo model it could be. Yep. There's no model in, in commercial cultivation where they say run 70 days, yeah. get five harvests a year, not six. That doesn't exist, but we do that here. And your material, some of it's coming straight from this room, like the Trop Cherry, mm -hmm. this is going to be in your, your guys' cartridges. Yeah. Short days. Everything here is planned about four to five weeks in advance minimum in terms of harvest. Okay. So this section and the one behind it, these will be going into turn live resin. Got it. Amazing. So it's one of the things I love. You're here, you get to see it, we get to talk about it, and then you'll get to see it in the cartridge and enjoy it. Awesome. So plants should speak for themselves. Plants are healthy, they look phenomenal. Absolutely. And Everything you get looks a good. close up onto the heads. There's not a ton of stock in there, right? So we're doing a proper flush, true mount in the end. We've already started dimming the lights down. We're about 70% right now. By the end of this thing, we'll be at checkerboard at 50%. We'll have cooled down the room even further, slowing metabolic response. And we're just gonna bring all of that out of that. And when you walk into this room, day 70, 72, any of it, it just explodes. In the face. It explodes. Yeah. yeah, it's really great. Yeah. I think that's very special that people get to experience seeing the actual plants that go in there. No, that's amazing. What makes the strains, like, you, you, I know you choose strains for raws and the live resin. Can you t tell the consumers a little bit why you choose certain strains over Absolutely. other ones? So first off, what we choose for flower has to be something that's gonna be a clean smoke. It's gonna burn well. 
get you sufficiently high, and then you want to have a really good flavor and nose behind it. Live resin, because the THC concentration is so high, you really need to have that flavor. Yep. It's terpene profile over everything, right? Yep. So we choose our cultivars, which just has the, the taste that lingers in your mouth after you hit it. Yep, right. That's what we're going for. No exceptions. Every plant, every day, no exceptions. This lab is operated by five people. They are, it's not just about the fact they're professionals, but they live, eat, and breathe this. It's run by Brian Pierce. And he designed out this lab from inception construction. And come and take a look. It's yeah. So 25 foot freezer. We can store upwards of 5,000 pounds in here. Woo, it's cold in here. Freezing. And based on what you're looking at in the different bag sizes and whatnot, so anything that's in the vacuum seal bag is for live resin. Anything that's in the turkey bag is for rosin. Yeah. Matt, can you tell the consumers out there, you know, why product is put into a freezer? And, Absolutely. Uh, so what happens is from the second you harvest the plant, yeah. from the second you cut the stalk, the degradation begins. The drying process, the cannabinoids start coming out, the chlorophyll starts breaking down. That's the dry process by normally, right? Yeah. Well, when you take it off the plant, literally within 15 minutes freezing it, the animation stops. And that cannabinoid profile and terpene profile, that's why it's called live resin. It is actually live. You have frozen it in that state. You're gonna extract the head as it was meant to be. There's, you can't fake it. Got it. There's no cured product that can fake a live resin. Perfect. So it's kind of like Mr. Freeze. This is our post-production uh, center for the labs. It's like, uh, man, it smells phenomenal. It smells so, so good in here. So today we're actually here formulating cartridges. So um, you can actually feel it's still warm. Nice. What is this? Uh, well, Live resin. Up. Oh, lemon mac. So we took lemon triangle, we mixed it with just the mac one from Capulator, and this will be a cartridge formulation right now. So, but I mean, that's that's ridiculous. You know, that's just where everything's bright gold. And still, we took this trying a lemon 74 days. Wow. So it's uh, it's pretty impressive. This team just kills it though. So all the tubes go into this freezer before they're blasted. So it's not just a deep freeze process. Again, when Colby doesn't do his job, this is where he'll be. Right? <laughs> so then the tubes go in here. This is the material. They'll get even further deep freeze. Then they'll go into the machine where they'll maintain a negative 79. All right, Matt, well, I really appreciate it. I really, the fucking facility is phenomenal. Uh, we're excited to partner with you guys. Um, anything else you want to add? I'm so glad you guys rolled in because, uh, and I hope it's not the last time, because I'd love to Definitely see not the last. guys coming in regularly. From the era I come from in cannabis, there was an emotional connection to cannabis. A lot of times we don't see that anymore. You see a special on a board, you see a cool billboard. You, you, you don't have the connection, right? If you guys keep coming in, seeing the plants, seeing the actual plants that are going into your cannabis and your product, there's a connection there. Absolutely. And you know, when the next time you know someone's going to see this on your Instagram, and see the Gary Payton times trying the lemons, and they're going to go into a store four months from now, whatever, and they're going to be like, no, that's the one I want. And that's because they have a connection to seeing it and be like, I want to know what it was like. I wasn't in the room. I didn't get to do scratch and sniff. So um, I love this stuff. Super hyped to be working with you guys. I mean, this is the house that Yes built and it's the same thinking. Amazing. So it's like, I think this collaboration, it's, it's just going to be a beautiful thing. I'm yeah. super excited for it. And for us, we're just as excited. I mean, knowing that we can put the best product in our product and knowing where it's coming from and cultivated from, that's what we are so super excited for. We just keep coming back and doing it, seeing the plans and we get to hang out. So it's like a win, win, win. Oh, thanks bro, I appreciate I it. Do. So good to see you again. Yeah, of course. Thanks guys.